And we're ready to get this Falls Count Anywhere match underway. Uh-oh. Oh, what a slam. Ooh, what impact. What a strike. Ooh, that's the impact. Beautiful technique. You gotta believe this one's over. Jumping, leaping attack. Uh oh. Twist of fate. We have Mandy Rose competing here tonight. Let's talk strategy, Byron. Let me start with... Actually, I'll take this, Cole. There is no strategy when taking on Mandy Rose. She's God's greatest creation. You literally cannot compete with that. Case closed. Question over. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. She might want to think about taking a breather and letting the other two women yeah. go at it for a while. Well, we had Corey giving his... Uh, Unbiased strategy discussion. Moon salt. Incredible. Not good for the back and body. To the outside, where she has all the time in the world to do what she needs to do. At 2016's Clash of Champions, it was another classic triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship. It was Bailey versus the boss, Sasha Banks, versus the champion, Charlotte Flair. The match started out more like a singles match between the boss and the queen. Bailey learned very quickly it was every woman for herself. She comes up big with the reversal. The triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship was another example of the incredible competition between the female superstars of WWE. Charlotte was physically dominant in fighting off the challenges of Bailey and Sasha Banks. At one point, the Queen even landed a moonsault on both their opponents at the same time. But the boss and Bailey put it all on the line and kept fighting. There were several near pinfalls during this battle, but in the end, as it should be, the Queen exhibited her genetic superiority by fighting off both her challengers. After drip... We're gonna take a trip, gentlemen. Straight down to the harsh impact. She is just so dominant. When it comes to Falls Count Anywhere matches, for my money, there are few better than the November 2016 battle between Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks. Boom! <laughs> Speaking of that classic Charlotte-Sasha encounter Corey mentioned, we should add that it was the first time the champ needs to hurry here. The champion into the cover! Mandy Rose has been eliminated. Well, guys, the referee should have it relatively easy here tonight because, as you know, in a false count anywhere match, anything goes. Man, I think we're seeing the end for Ruby Riot. How much longer could she go in this triple threat match? Look at her go. Ooh. Hard to argue your take on this match, Michael. When there are no rules to enforce, the official's sole responsibility in a match like this is to simply declare the victor. Yeah, the referee may only have one job, but I'm still willing to bet he finds a way to mess it up. There are no allies in matches of this nature, but I wouldn't be surprised to see a temporary union and a little two-on-one battle taking place. So much on the line here tonight. Pride, respect, glory, and of course the coveted championship. 
showing some quickness there. Nailed it. Real quick, in case we have any newbies watching, a false count anywhere. Going for broke. Oh man, she's rolling now. Now that's how you successfully defend your title. One more time. Why not? The champion into the cover. Ruby Riot has been the champion eliminated. retains. I'm still trying to process all the action that we saw there in the triple threat match. This recap should help. That's what I love about the WWE. A match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. She was amazing all match long. Flawless technique, relentless attacks, and she brought it all night long. Here is your winner. champion vivacious wolf and there's your winner via pinfall simply put she wanted it more than the other two did tonight columbus has played host to some amazing matches over the years including this one